Welcome. I'm very excited for you to be watching my channel today because in this video we're going to talk about how to get a really great recording of your voice so you can replicate it using AI tools. In this specific video, we're going to use NVIDIA AI. And you can hear the difference. Let's go ahead and play a little bit just so you can hear the differences between my microphone, which is a Audio-Technica ATRX2100, I think is the name of it. I used to use a Blue Yeti and it sounded really great. It was a good price. And I found this Audio-Technica mic for the same price. And I think it sounds a lot crispier and crunchier. And I just really like the sound of it. It sounds like I'm in a fabulous studio. And when in reality, I am just in my hallway of my house. That's where my desk is. I don't really have a great studio. I don't even have an office because I'm running my business out of my home. So anyway, this is where we are. So if you are concerned about a recording not sounding good, having a great microphone makes a really big difference. And when you put the microphone farther away, it's not going to sound quite as good maybe. Or it might sound better if it's right here, or it might sound better for you if it's right up in your face. So you just have to play around and see what works best for you. So I'm excited for you to learn how to do this today. One of the reasons I love using AI tools is because it saves me time, energy, and I can create content much faster. This is me recording this video. But in my channel, you will see me using AI tools and it could be an AI generated Dina. It could be an AI generated Dina voice. So you can do the same thing too. And you'll be able to connect with your audience faster, easier using AI. And NVIDIA AI has come a long way since the inception of their company. I used them when they first launched years ago and I stopped using it because it was a little laggy and I just had a really hard time with it. But now their quality is so much better. Their B-rolls great. You can create really quick VSLs, any kind of videos in, in video really easily. So you can upload your transcript. You can use their voices, you can use your own voices, or you might be able to connect it to Eleven Labs or something else. I haven't done that yet. I'm just thinking that you probably can. So anyway, I'm going to get to the next section of this video, and I can't wait for you to see how simple this really is. Okay, I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt a little bit here because I listened to the video when the microphone was far away from me and I have to say it sounds a lot better when it's closer to my mouth. So anyway, that's something that you can also test. You can try out different recordings. You can try out different microphones to see what works best for you. I like this mic because it plugs directly into my computer. It's super easy. It doesn't have an extra power source or anything like that. But I'll also have a link to this microphone in the description if you would like to get it if you like how it sounds. So anyway, I want to get back to the NVIDIA training here. So I've already logged into NVIDIA and if you don't have NVIDIA, I'll have a link to this in the description below for a free trial. I think it's free. Don't mark my words on that. But anyway, I want to record a video using my voice and my video script. So right here, I'm going to click on the top left corner called the hamburger menu. It's the three lines on top of each other. Click that. And then you're going to scroll down to voices. And right here, it says add voice. You can add a digital clone of your voice by uploading your voice recording here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this blue plus sign. You have to submit a recording of or at least 30 seconds. You also need to mention that I give NVIDIA AI the permission to use my voice in this workspace. And you want to pause in between sentences like you normally would. Use a high quality recording. Now, if you're in a space that sounds really echoey, you can put 
a blanket over top of your head. It's a little bit ghetto, but it sounds a lot better. You can also take your laptop into your closet where something is padded. So sound studios usually have foam on the walls. I don't have foam because this microphone does a pretty good job of recording me. So I have to choose a file. So at this time, today in 2024, you can't record the recording directly into InVideo. So I'm going to have to use a different thing in my computer to make the video, rec the voice recording of myself. So we're going to click choose file and guess what? I haven't recorded it yet. So I'm going to find I'm in, I'm in a Mac. So what I want to do is go to QuickTime. Oh, here we go. There's me doing uh, a Hey Jen video in Descript, doing a video editing clip there. So let's go to File, New Audio Recording. If you don't have a Mac, I'm sorry, PC people. I'm just not sure how to do it on your computer. I'm sure you have some sort of recording software on there. If you don't, you can probably find some in the Google Play Store or somewhere else, or you can just record it straight into your computer. So anyway, QuickTime Player, File, go to New Audio Recording, and then we're gonna click this red button right here. I'm gonna put it right in the middle so we can see that. We're gonna go ahead and click that and I'm going to just start recording my voice right now for InVideo's AI voice generator. So I'm very excited to record this today and I give InVideo AI the permission to use my voice in this workspace. And remember to pause in between sentences like you normally would. You want to speak with a nice, clear and concise tone, have a nice cadence that's natural, not monotone. You don't want to talk the same volume or the same speed the entire time when you're doing this recording. So I've created a video, an audio recording of 48 seconds. I think that's enough. I'm going to go ahead and stop. Okay, so we have an untitled so I want to give it a title, Dina's voice for in video. Oops. Okay. So I'm actually going to click file and sh um, let's see. Sorry, I haven't used QuickTime in a while. Dina's voice for in video. Okay, so I'm gonna go to choose file. I copied what I just typed in there. Well, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna go back to my QuickTime player here. It's just gonna be really finicky right now, isn't it? Oh, okay, I was clicking on the wrong space. I'm gonna go to file and save, that's what I need to do. Dina's voice recording. Sometimes I can just be a little dingy. Okay, so I've copied Dina's voice recording. That's the name I've given this and I'm gonna export that. I'm gonna click save. Okay, so it's saved as an M 4A, is that right? So I'm going to go ahead and click Add Voice and then click Choose File. And I'm going to paste that into search here. And it's probably in my downloads. There it is. Let's try this out and see what happens. There's my voice recording. Let's go ahead and listen. And I'm going to just start recording my voice right now for InVideo's AI voice generator. So I'm very excited to record this today and I give InVideo AI the permission to use my voice. 
Okay, so I've recorded that. You can talk about anything you want. You can talk about where you work, your family, your friends, your hobbies, or anything. So after you record that, you're going to go ahead and click these check boxes after you read them. This is my voice or I have the rights to it. This voice sample includes permission to clone. Voice sample includes natural pauses and filler words. This was recorded using high quality equipment. If you use low quality equipment, you're going to get a low quality sound. My sample looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and click that blue button. And it's going to analyze my voice and upload it into NVIDIA right now. So let's see. My permissions verified, it's analyzed all of the things it needs to analyze using its AI. And we're going to go ahead and click done. So I want to edit the name of that. I'm going to go ahead and put my first name and my last name. Save that as your voice. Okay, this is great. So we should be able to go to the media library, click over here to voices and you can see voice one. You can put it in the trash if you don't like it. And that, my friends, is how you add a voice to in video so you can have your voice in transcribed videos that you don't even have to record with your real live voice. So I'm very excited for you to get on this journey of learning AI tools and follow me, subscribe to my channel, support me. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.